Hello， 你好，我是 Frank， 你的飞行伙伴。ATR 七十二涡轮螺旋桨客机是我们台湾国内线的主力客机。你想驾驶 ATR 涡轮螺旋桨客机吗？或是想多了解它的系统设计吗？我来分享一位曾经在台湾飞行过的资深 ATR 机长 m a g n a r n o d e l l 他的频道 Fly with m a g n a r 有很多关于这款飞机的影片哦。要是英文对你没什么问题，那赶快到他的 YouTube 去看看吧。要是带有一点欧洲口音的英文解说，还有 YouTube 的自动字幕或是自动翻译，那你看的有点吃力，或者是有点黑人问号，没关系，我可以理解。但目前好消息是 m e g a 机长让我以专业字幕的方式在这里和你分享他的影片，那我们就一起来看看吧。Hello aviators, how are you today? My name is m a g n a r u d a l I'm a captain instructor on ATR aircraft. Some time ago, I posted a video about six hacks that can be useful for the ATR pilot. And this was just the beginning. In this video, I will present six more hacks. Here is a prank you can use to impress your colleague. Tell him or her that you have magic powers and that you can alter the hydraulic pressure. If you are in an ATV glass cockpit, open the hydraulic page on the MFD. But this trick works best in a classic cockpit. Rub your index finger on your knee and then touch the green pressure indicator. And like magic, the pressure drops. You can invite your colleague to try, but of course he or she will not succeed. So, how is this done? If you know your aircraft, you know that the green hydraulic pressure supplies the normal brakes. Say no more. Before the first flight of the day, we check the cockpit door locking system. To get access to the cockpit, the cabin crew will activate the door call. It's very loud. It will wake, wake up, up the, dead. the dead. If you don't respond, the cabin crew will activate the emergency system. The buzzer will sound for 30 seconds, and if you don't respond, the door opens automatically. Testing this function is the longest 30 seconds in the life of any ATR pilot. To mute the buzzer, you can place an object over the loudspeaker, for example your phone. If your captain is holding the fan out like this when applying power for takeoff, you know that this captain has flown the ATR42-300 or G20. Those ATR models do not have EEC, and the power levers don't have the notch where the power levers are set at takeoff. By holding out the fan when applying power, your fan will touch the parking brake lever when power is set for takeoff. And when you first have flown the ATR42-300, you will continue with this habit. This hack is not only relevant for ATR aircraft, because many airliners have seat belts with buckles like this. When we are about 10,000 feet, or flight level 100, we are allowed to release the harness. Instead of unbuckling the seat belt and harness, and then fasten the seat belt again, you can flick this tab to release the harness. When riding on the observer seat, you will discover that, unless you have very long legs, you will not be able to reach the floor. That can be very tiring. Therefore, ATI aircraft are equipped with a pair of stirrups. Just flip them out and you will have a more comfortable ride. All aircraft have a speed limitation called the rough airspeed, VRA. In the regulation it's called VB, turbulence penetration speed, but it's the same. This is the maximum airspeed an aircraft can fly in severe turbulence without experience any structural damage or failure. For ATR-42 and 72, the rough airspeed is 180 knots. When it comes to this limitation, there are two things you must remember. 1. When flying in severe turbulence, the airspeed will change rapidly. Therefore, you should maintain a speed well below rough airspeed. 
and two, your airspeed is published for the maximum weight of the aircraft. When the weight is reduced, the rough airspeed is reduced in accordance with this formula. If you recognize the formula, it is because you can also use it to calculate the stall speed, for example. As I said, the rough airspeed for both ATR-42 and 72 is 180 knots. ATR-72 has a maximum weight of 23 tons. When the weight is 20 tons, the rough airspeed will be 168 knots. While it may not be easy to do this calculation when you're bouncing around in a cockpit, you can use the following hack. A 23 tons rough airspeed is 180, and Isingberg is 169 knots. Difference? 11 knots. A 20 tons rough airspeed is 168 knots, and Isingberg is 158. Difference? 10 knots. At 17 tons, rough airspeed is 155 knots, and Isingberg 146. Difference 9 knots. As a rule of thumb, rough airspeed is Isingberg plus 10 knots. For ATR 42, rough airspeed is Isingberg plus 18 to 20 knots, so we can use plus 20. And that's all for this time. If you know all the ATR hacks, please let us know in the comment section below. Then I can make more videos for you. Thank you for watching, have a wonderful day and happy learning!